Good morning, besties. Yes, I look rough, but I just got out of bed. Today, we're doing an easy to find recipe. One that I have promised for a year, but my mama was supposed to do it. Chocolate gravy. She's just really not into the whole being on camera thing. I'm going to try to convince her. I swear to God, I'm going to try to convince her to do some of her recipes on camera. She's just going to get comfortable with the idea. So, until then, you got me. But she taught me how to do it. And it is the greatest thing on this planet. It is nostalgic for me. It's what she made for me every time I spent the night with her. It is the best thing on this planet. I love it. My children love it. But I will say this. For some reason, Mamaw's just tastes 10 times better. I think it's because it's Mamaw's. Mamaw just knows how to make things taste better. Plus, she has had the same iron skillet for as long as I've been alive. And that's what she makes it in. I think that's why hers might taste a little better. Plus, it's Mamaw's. I am using an iron skillet. Like Mamaw taught me to. But... You know, I don't have the mamma touch yet. I just have the mama touch. Maybe one day I'll get the mamma touch. So, we're going to start by baking our biscuits. I'm not going to show you how to bake biscuits because... <laughs> because I'm cheating. I'm using canned. I have the means and know-how to make homemade biscuits. I just choose not to do that today because I'm doing this. So, bake your biscuits. However you want to make your biscuits, go ahead and get started on those biscuits so they're ready for the gravy. Because the gravy does not take long to make. So, go get started. Go. I went ahead and put my hair up so, you know, I don't get hair in my gravy. Let's go ahead and talk about the items you're going to be needing to make this chocolate gravy. Mamma does a mix. Well, she does whatever she has on hand. She's not particular about it. She either does... Cocoa powder, she does syrup. I've seen her use Hershey's syrup and cocoa together more times than not. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna use both of these. But you can use one or the other if that's all you have. Milk. A little bit of salt, just like a pinch of salt. Now the butter, and the more butter, the better. Mama uses like a half stick of butter. Sometimes she puts that in the gravy and then we slice off some and put it on top of the biscuits with the gravy on it. So, did I say this was healthy? I did not. <laughs> now, I don't know if you can use all-purpose flour. I mean, I guess you can because it's, it's just flour. Mama always uses self-rising flour and that's because that's the only kind she buys. She, I don't think she ever buys all-purpose flour unless she's making homemade Play-Doh. So she uses self-rising flour for this and it has the, you know, it has salt already in it. It has baking powder in it. But this is what Mamaw uses. She doesn't use anything else. But I'm pretty positive you can use all purpose. I'm pretty sure you can. But this is just Mamaw. She has only self rising. She only gets white lily self rising flour. Sugar. Sugar. That's pretty much all you're going to need. Mamma, I have seen her make this 4,000 times, okay? Maybe more than that. A lot. She sometimes gets off her dry ingredients, throws it in a blender, and mixes it together. And then just pours it in a iron skillet with a liquid. I've seen her do that. She does a lot of different things. Just whatever she's feeling that day. But it always comes out the same and tasting great. She does not make a roux first. She does not do that. She just does it all in a skillet most of the time. And that's how she makes it. And I'm pretty sure she stirs it with a spoon. I've always seen her use a spoon. But I gotta use a whisk because I ain't got that magical touch to make all them lumpies come out with a spoon. Mamma does. All right, let's get started on this chocolate gravy. Chocolate gravy, everybody. Are we excited? Okay, I'm gonna do what Mamma does. Let's add around a cup of sugar. By the way, Mamma doesn't measure. My Aunt Kim stood by my Mamma one day and she measured as she 
put things in. But we're, we're just going with it. Let's start with a cup of sugar. So I'm gonna paint your salt around a third cup of cocoa powder, two spoons of flour. I'm gonna work all this together, try to get those lumps out of it. Add two and a half cups of milk. Two tablespoons roundabouts of Hershey syrup. Go ahead and start whisking this up together and let's turn the heat on low. Continuously whisking so it does not burn. And put around four tablespoons of butter. I may add more milk. I just gotta see how thick she's gonna be. It's all just a wait and watch kind of thing. But this is usually pretty good the way that I make it run up. to boil. See? Now she's going to start getting thick. Now this thickens up as it cools down as well. So if you think it's not like super thick like normal gravies, just give it a moment to rest. I, us I usually let it rest like five minutes. And there it is, chocolate gravy biscuits. Brayden, how do we feel about the chocolate gravy? Okay. Oh, that stuck to me. I can't let it all around there, it got stuck. It's so good. Ryder. It's good. Kylan, is it too hot right now? Oh, your butter stuck to your fork? My, but yes, it's sit stuck. your butter in your gravy and it'll melt. Just sit it there for a minute. Okay, Daddy, how do we feel about the gravy? Is it good? Is it delicious? Is it miraculous? Good. Is it a close second to Mamaw's? Yes. But Mamaw's is better, right? <laughs> yes, come here. I forgot to tell you guys I'm editing this video and I realized I left something out. You can also put a dash of vanilla in it if you prefer. Um, my aunt Kim, I'm pretty sure she puts it in hers. I put it in mine sometimes, but I don't usually. I think it tastes a little better without it. But if you think it's missing something, you can add a little dash of vanilla. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you try this recipe, I hope you love it. If you want your gravy a little bit more thicker than ours, 
add an extra tablespoon of flour, but I prefer to have ours a little thin because Mamma's is a little thin. It's it just it's better. It soaks up in the biscuit better. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Recipe in the description box below. I love you guys. I love you guys. Remember as always, be positive, kind, happy, and I love you. Bye.